What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here. Welcome to another quick video. This is just what the Dak. What is going on with Dak Prescott, man? Our quarterback. I, you know, you hear a lot. Obviously, the lack of running game, I think, is probably plays the biggest part in the lack lack of success for this offense. But there's got to be more to it. I mean, some of it, we got to we gotta be honest in Dak Prescott. He's got to share some of the blame. I hear a lot about weapons. He doesn't have the weapons. But then I, I look at Josh Allen, and I look at Jordan Love, and I look at, you know, other quarterbacks that, you know, you can even say Patrick Mahomes, and, I mean, he's the elite elite. They don't have all these elite weapons. I mean, Dak Prescott has probably one of the top three, top four wide receivers in the NFL. He's got, obviously, Brandon Cooks is hurt. He's getting a little older, but he's just a re he is a reliable receiver. Jalen Tolbert, young receiver. They took him high in the draft, right, in the third round. He's been developing. He's been getting more opportunities, and he's made the most of the opportunities that he's been given. He's got one of the best young tight ends in the NFL. So he's got weapons at receiver. Could you use more? Sure. We all could use more. But he's got enough weapons. And these are a lot of the weapons he had last year when he had that MVP-type season, second in MVP voting. The running game has been the ultimate problem. The run, the lack of running game. It is all-time worst that I've ever seen in Cowboys history. I'm talking you go back to Avion Kaysan, Troy Hambrick. You know, nothing against those guys, but those were the running backs that we were working with at, at a point in time. And you know me, I love my running backs, and it's just been hard to watch this team not be able to run the football. You saw, you know, Dalvin Cook, they give him a shot against San Francisco, didn't do a whole lot, really didn't have a whole lot of opportunity. You saw Zeke with some success early on, but they got away from the run. But consistently, the running game has been a problem. But, you know, looking at Dak Prescott, what could be causing the problems? And if you look at his career and you look at his history, He's always been a very consistent quarterback. He has always had very low interception percentage, very high completion percentage. Yards per attempt was always very steady and very good. And he's at all-time lows looking at his career, 3.1 interception percentage. That's the you know, his worst since his the, the year he led the, the the NFL in interceptions a few years ago. He's always been one to protect the football. So that is something that just tells me he's he's feeling the pressure. He's feeling the pressure to 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 carry the offense on his shoulders with lack of a running game. But he's got to be smart. He's made some very bad choices with his interceptions, bad timing with it is with his interceptions on field position and things like that. But looking at his career, I mean, he has never had a losing season. The only time he even started with a losing season, he got hurt. So you really never had the opportunity to kind of see where that played out. So this is uncharted waters for Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. They've always been able to put things together. Now they're sitting at three and four. They're looking at Atlanta. We're going to break that game down tomorrow night live. Kelly K9 and I, Kelly K9 and I have some guests. It's going to be a lot of fun. But, you know, so make sure you tune into that live. But more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any stuff. That's what I'm doing here, just chatting with, with Cowboys Nation while I'm chilling out at home one evening. So looking at some of the numbers, interceptions, eight interceptions. Look at the games. He's had four games with two interceptions. That means he only really had three so far where he hasn't turned the ball over in the air. Um, TD percentage is – Better than last year, not as good. Oh, excuse me. That was, I was going to look at the career. I was going to say, I don't think he's doing very good at all. He's all-time low in TD percentage. He's only got 10 in, in seven games. His completion percentage is the lowest it's been since his second year. That He's just not completing the passes. That means either receivers aren't getting open. He's being pressured. He's rushing the throws. There's just so much that goes into it. You have a young offensive line. They need to complement this a little bit more. But the one thing that Dak Prescott can do to help himself, and we talked about this, is running. And not running to run, but running to get four or five-yard slide, get that first down. Use the run smart. When you're flushed out of the pocket, just step up and get three or four yards and slide. There's, we're not asking you to be Lamar Jackson. They're not asking you to be 
Josh Allen and, and bowl people over and know you're a big dude. We need you healthy. I get that. But he's only rushed, what is it, 10 times this season, averaging 2.4 yards a rush. That means he's not even running. He's If he's running, he's getting to the line of scrimmage because he's getting sacked and he just avoids the sack and gets a couple yards. He just is not running the football effectively. Again, he's not a running quarterback, but it's just running it effectively, and you can just see it there. And then you're going back to his his games. I'm looking back at his stats, I mean, look at, again, San Francisco. Started pretty good, then he gets the two turnovers. Detroit, that was just a disaster, 51% completion percentage. Then you got the game against Pittsburgh, who look now with Pittsburgh 6-2. and two. That shows you that this team, they can get it done. They've got to get healthy, but the offense has been healthy for the most part. Obviously, you lost Brandon Cooks, but Tolbert has kind of stepped in. I don't know if that was really a drop-off. Maybe it was a drop-off in your third and fourth receiver. Would love to see Flournoy maybe get some opportunities over Brooks. I don't know why he got the last throw in that game, but it is what it is. But Dak Prescott, to me, is just pressing. He just doesn't look confident. You look at him in the pocket. He looks – get you know, with Peyton Manning, he used to always have those happy feet. He just does not look comfortable. They've got to get him comfortable. He's got a young offensive line. They're getting better. We said it's going to be a work in progress with this offensive line. There's going to be some highs. There's going to be some lows. But they have just got to get this thing going and get back to – play. I mean, this is the same offense. I know everyone's calling it all these names. This is the same offense – they got him second in MVP voting. They got him career highs in touchdowns, led the NFL in touchdowns, had over 4,000 yards. So I know it can be done. The running game, I believe, is the Achilles heel. I've said it all offseason. I continue to say that's the problem. If you want to know what's up with Dak, lack of a running game. Everything Dak does successfully is off play action pass. It's with using that running game to your advantage and then work your receivers. That's what is going on. So I don't know if it's necessarily Dak is declining. I don't believe that. I still think he's one of the top five, six, seven, however you want to rank him, quarterbacks in the NFL. But he's struggling. He's struggling turning the ball over. And that's something that you cannot do is turn the ball over, especially when you've got a struggling defense that's depleted with injuries. You cannot give the other team short fields and opportunities to score quickly, jump ahead, and put you in a true one-dimensional game. That third quarter for the Cowboys against San Francisco was just an absolute disaster, but it's you know it starts with making bad decisions. they got to get away from that. They've got to play fundamentally sound football on offense. And, again, running game's the key, but Dak being smart, use your legs as the running game. Again, three to four yards, slide, make it third manageable if you get those opportunities. He's had opportunities to run. You learned, you heard Jerry Jones, if you heard him today, they don't want him to run the ball. But he said, hey, you know, they can run it smart. You know, And we're not, again, you're not asking him to take the hits. You don't want him to take the hits. He's too valuable for this offense. We go as he goes, which as you can see, uh, that's the struggle that we're having. He's not having his best season. He's not having a good season. He's got to own some of that. There's plenty of blame to go around. Nobody wants to see Dak Prescott be successful, win a championship, get that Lombardi home to Dallas, where it's, it's been vacant for so many years. We're all getting sick and tired of talking about it more than I do. But we just got to get back on track. You've got Atlanta. You got Philly. You got Texans. I said these four games, the Cowboys have got to find a way to get to be two and two, get the, get healthy, and then – they can make that run in that second half of the season. Schedule gets a little favorable. They've got an opportunity to win some games there and get to 10 wins, get to 11 wins. But if they don't do it over these next three games, if they go one and three, oh, and four, you go ahead and call it a wrap. It's going to be trouble. You might as well get them draft boards ready because it isn't going to happen. And it's disappointing because we all see it. We all see what we need to do. And we see these other teams making some changes, making some trades, doing something with with some, you know, to try and improve their team. And we're just not seeing it here. You see the young legs of some of these running backs. You saw the running back of San Francisco. We talked about it last night on the show. He, I mean, no one ever even heard of him, but young legs is what you need 
in your running game. You need to at least have somebody, and we don't have any young legs that we can that, that we can rely on to run the football, at least to throw them in there. So the Cowboys have just got to get things going. They looked a little better early against San Francisco. I like the fight that they had. Third quarter was an absolute disaster, and then they battle back in the fourth quarter. You have the ball, Dak Prescott. I mean, you got to own this. You got the ball with three minutes to go. You got your timeouts. You got plenty of time to lead that team down. That was a terrible. You throw it on the coaching staff or the offensive coordinator, but Dak Prescott as well because you're you're the one throwing the football. Very poor last drive. That was not an elite quarterback drive. That was an average to below average quarterback drive. And you just got to own it and move on. And he has. I'm not saying anything that he hasn't already said. Um, he takes responsibility for it. And I just think Dak Prescott, he's going to get this thing figured out. I haven't given up on this team. I know a lot of people have. And I don't blame you if you have. Can't blame you if you have. If you say they're going to win five games or whatever. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, I think this team gets healthy on defense. I think if they can find an average running game. And maybe it's using Dalvin Cook and Zeke in tandem, getting Rico, however way, whatever formula they want to create, whatever running back they want it to be, they've got to at least be average at running back. Doesn't have to be great. Just at least be average. Give the threat that you can actually run the ball for five or six yards of carry uh, when needed, and that'll go a long way with this team. So make sure you guys hit that like, hit the subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Appreciate all the support. This has been a season to test all of our fandom all of our fandom and it's definitely tested mine and you know a lot of high hopes for this season and it's just been been torn apart piece by piece and it's it's it sucks but i still think this team see how these next three games play out see how it goes if they end up losing like i said going one and three oh and four you just go ahead and call it a wrap but they're not out of it yet. You got to remember, they talked about it. San Francisco is three and four, three of the last four years. Two of those years, they went to the NFC Championship. We'll see how this year works for them. I don't know if they'll make it this year. I wasn't as impressed with San Francisco as years past. Um, but they got to get healthy, too. They get McCaffrey back. Maybe things change. But then you look at Green Bay last year. It was two and five. They were able to make the playoffs and made some runs and made some noise in the playoffs you know, embarrassed us. So that was, that, that's gotta be worth something. So it's not over yet, but desperation time is now. This team has got to be in desperation mode. I'm curious to see if and any players they get back this week. I'm really surprised some of these guys haven't been back yet. A little disappointed in a couple. We'll talk a little bit more on a Wednesday. Make sure again, you guys hit that like, subscribe, share. Always appreciate the support. Always appreciate the love to the Cowboys cave. Make sure you guys spread the word. We will see you tomorrow night live. Take care. Peace out. Give me somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. I need somebody.